Hi, this is Sheila with Conscious Conversation Central, and today is Saturday, July the 17th, 2021, and I'm very pleased this evening to be joined by these three beautiful ladies, Lisa Flamino, Rash Beasy, Rieger, and Jennifer Brown, and I think if I got this right, the vibe of what I think the conversation is about this evening is the creational energetic the <clears throat> well there's several energetics afoot right i mean we can all feel that um but this this in particular um jennifer you you really uh are were the driver behind our gathering this evening and um I, I would love to hear partly what um, what was behind that for you and you know and bringing this conversation about that energetic forward for us to play with because I loved the fact that you were willing to do that first of all so thank you for that <laughs> thank you good to see everybody um yeah <laughs> Where to jump in? I mean, we're creating so much right now. Um, we're creating connection through love, through heart, creation from zero point. I mean, we've got, and I think I had mentioned this before when we met and we're just talking, um, everything supports you. You're cradled, your um, seems like whatever you need ends up provided it's like everything is supporting this creational energy being used this fabric however you want to use it uh, for me i'm not using it like um in a physical 3d way as in um a business manifesting a, a new home or for me it's more um personal connection heart to heart communication um working on that that connection that i have that special one with my granddaughter so i don't know i mean busy and i played you and you all all of us play together so <laughs> creating stuff together well i love that partly because um <clears throat> what i saw what i have been seeing very clearly for myself anyway it feels to me like um certain frequencies that have been here all along on the planet that I wasn't allowing myself to see, sense, and feel for a long, long time, right? And then, mm -hmm. <clears throat> then I started opening myself to being allow, allowing myself to see, sense, and feel those subtle frequencies. <clears throat> <laughs> He doesn't get where the camera is. He just figures no. out. No. Yeah, of course not. You're lost oh, sweet there. Fur baby. He's like, I'll show oh. you where the camera is. Get out of the way. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> and so I feel as though, uh, you know, for for me, it's it it, it kind of goes hand in hand with that widening of the aperture the more i've allowed myself expanded myself allowed myself to um maybe widen that aperture the more light that gets in there that i can see sense and feel more right so so it's it's almost like at least some of those uh Wait, wait, come energetics here. including the one that you felt to be describing to me about a creational energetic it's like it feels to me like certain energetics want to be expressed more than others at certain times does that am i making any sense to anybody does that it's like they're always there beckoning to be expressed by each, how each singularity feels to express that energetic or that frequency, it's it's there, it's available. It's whether or not 
I've allowed myself, first of all, to see, sense, and feel it. And then how, for my experiential filter, my desires, what I want to experience, how I'm going to express that particular energetic to bring forth whatever it is I want to experience. Did I, I don't know what that was about or an why I went there. Well, there's an interesting river right now in, in the connection, in the creation, because, because of exactly where we are in these moments and because of the heightened flow of, of creational force that is being wielded by each individual creational flow that is awash um, all over the planet and every being on the planet and off planet. And because we're, we're connecting with how good we were at our creational powers of the old and realizing that and for many for the very first time and because we are where we are in the state of the world right this moment in that creational force and you notice that and you go wait a minute yeah i i actually had a very big hand in all this and each being is saying that in various different ways and it's kind of a messy, chaotic, yucky, snooky stuff in there, right? And you're going, well, uh, wh why did I create that? So again, we, we are connecting on many different levels, just how powerful we are as, as creator beings, starting to realize it, starting, you know, not for everybody, a lot of people are already there, but for many, starting to realizing it, starting to actually own it and then navigating you know what we thought was one way to create in the old energies and starting to pick up and receive telemetry on new ways to create and so so for me when you had said you know um creational force and connection which is one of the things that jennifer had said when she asked me about playing then we're connecting you know, like in the old energy, we're connecting in the, we're moving to a new energy and we're connecting to the completely new energy. The and, birth. You know, yeah. And actually we connect with ourselves, which are kind of different selves in each of those points. Mm -hmm. I'm very grateful that you brought in the awareness of how we were creating, where, where our energy was going whether we were, knew it or not, that's another level of the awareness. So I wasn't aware at one point how my energy was being used. And I came to realize, wait a second, I need to take responsibility for that. And I don't wish to create that anymore. So you have this buildup, this buildup and this buildup, and it just gets bigger and stronger. And next thing you know, you realize where you want, what do you want, what you do want to create. And so you're taking all the energy out of where it used to flow and flowing it wherever you want it to go. But it was, it was the part that you brought up where people are, more people are becoming aware of what they were doing, how they were doing it and, and how we were keeping the old alive. And, you know, like, we still kind of are. Well, <laughs> I, you know, there's, the, it seems like there's a lot of that still going around. Yeah, but, but we're, we're building. But each being connected <clears throat> to that facet, just, just, so. Like, you know, like kind of the kid experiment of a magnifying glass and a piece of paper and sunlight. So mm -hmm. it's, so it's pinpointing and it's focusing and it's laser sharp and enhancing and magnifying you know what it is you're looking at and in all of that you know e even in the we still are part it's a because those that still are right it's a way to laser and magnify and sometimes you know some smoke will puff or you know you might get a little fire going and you go oh I need to pay more attention, right? So it connects you more. So that's actually a, a creational 
connection point that's laser focused that's that's drawing your attention to it on purpose and if you don't notice that actually you're the genesis of that then you know the puff of smoke gets bigger or the fire gets bigger or you got them you know <laughs> spot fires all over the place and then you finally go you either start to notice and say okay hang on life should be a little easier what's going on or you blame it on everybody else because it's out there all these things and that's yeah. great because that enhances your career you're gonna learn that you're kick-ass creative being <laughs> one way or the other and you're gonna start paying attention and connecting with oh yeah i got the one huh? hang on I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go like this for a minute put it down right so because we can't avoid it anymore. We can't hide from it anymore. We can't shrink from it anymore. We can't shirk it off anymore. We can't say the things that we don't like, oh, so-and-so did it, right? <laughs> and the things right? that we like, well, that must have been the guru that you know did it for me, because, right? It's all right where you are. All starts and stops and expands right there. Mm -hmm. So do you connect? with what you're connecting with, whatever that is driving to work or someone at work or someone in your house or you know the sun on your face right what what whatever it is are you actually connecting with it because when you and we're going to play with a little bit this tomorrow but when you when you are present in, even if you just think of it for a minute, that space in between, that, that <clears throat> magnifying tube in between, between you and whatever it is that you're looking at or wanting to create or not wanting to have there anymore, whatever, it doesn't matter. Or like I said, just the sun on your face is simple like that. Are you connecting with it? Do you, do you notice yourself connecting with it? Are you, are you? aware that there is a connection you know do you feel the kiss of the sun on your face and and how does that go through your body how does does do you notice that if you're you know had been in bad weather or had been grumpy or whatever it is and you stand for a moment and and you just breathe for a moment and the sun kisses you on your face and in that connection what are you feeling and how is there a transformative creational force going on? Understand that <clears throat> until I started um, really hanging out with you guys, <clears throat> there wasn't a whole lot of standing in connection with the sun kissing your cheek in my world, you know, <clears throat> that's, um, that's an attention to presence that wasn't in my vocabulary, not like that prior. So that's for me, that's been all a part of the discovery of me. And what makes this, uh, I guess, particularly at this juncture in my life, that that much more delicious for me in that um, <laughs> it all seems rather quite delicious to, to discover that the more, um, <clears throat> the more I show up and am present in each and every moment, the, the presence that I experience is, is sort of priceless. You know what I mean? It's just like, there's, um, it's like nothing I've ever experienced before. And heretofore, there doesn't seem to be anything quite like the joy of discovery of self in this way. So it's intensified and magnified like everything else you wish to look at right now. <laughs> yes, actually. And I would like to thank you so much for having this opportunity to voice 
just that, J- just what I just voiced actually, because I hadn't, I don't think I'd even described it in that way to myself before, um, or had the opportunity to feel what it feels like to voice that out loud beautiful. within myself. And, and it is quite beautiful. <laughs> and, um, I love that. So thank you so much for suggesting this conversation, first of all, because <laughs> it brought it forward. Well, you had a connection. I was going to ask if you had a connection when you, when you put the pill or other different medications that you were on, was there an awareness? Was there any kind of presence in that? Or was it just someone told me to take this and whatever, but I was going to say, I mean, that's one thing to play with because it gives a lot of information and a lot of there's a lot of creational force play there i mean there were reasons and there were journeys and there were things that that i think if you erase them you now with the deliciousness of the sun kissing your face and then exploration wouldn't be the same at all no this is true <clears throat> this is true. And I would like to ask you what, repeat your question about that again, whether or not there was presence, whether or not I had any sort of presence as I was taking all those medications I was on. Is that? Yeah, that was one thing. But what I really wanted to say is, I mean, you know, cause sometimes people hold it, well, that's a good thing. And, you know, things are hard right now all over or for me, whatever it is. And, and, everything is what it is and how we encounter it and have a connection to it right changes it so i just wanted i was just nudged to bring forward that that it isn't it isn't either or even though that's part of the programming that we have right so so one way is to look at at you know for example for you and what you were discussing and kind of that flow that you're going through you could you look at the pills, but there you already had that presence when the water would pass your lips and flow into your body. Yeah, so I really, I don't have an answer for that really. The uh, as to the <clears throat> experiences, uh, perhaps I will. The, perhaps that some of what I will get to discover is the why of these, you know, differing experiences that I've set up for myself. Um, hmm. That's, that's a really good question. I, I really don't know. I know, I know that I held things a bit differently then as well. I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't nearly as expanse, expanse, expanded. My consciousness wasn't anywhere near <clears throat> it, what I feel like it is now as in terms of the aperture, the expansion that has taken place, right? But at the same time, um, I don't know. I've heard, I've heard lots of different things about uh, reasons why we set different things up, right? And particularly where uh, certain kinds of illnesses and or issues, particularly that deal with weight, have uh, come about, particularly with light workers in general, about anchoring light. And sometimes that's um, a way to do that. I, I really don't know the truth of that for myself, whether, whether that's, you know, a part of that or just part of the overall experience that I had set up for myself, right? Because it was a lot of, a, a lot of stuff that didn't have to do with weight that I didn't have to necessarily experience just if that was what I was going to experience, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I mean, all that in and out of the hospital stuff, I didn't have to experience all that necessarily um, just to anchor a lot light, but you know, I don't know. <laughs> also, you know, the, um, because I've also considered, you know, all of the, uh, modifications that have been done to my physical vessel, right. There's been a lot of 
you know, hacking and sawing and, you know, parts and pieces removed and stuff like that. Right. Mm -hmm. So what all that was about and for, I don't know, (laughs) you know, (laughs) again, wouldn't think that I'd sign up thinking that was necessary to go through, but Hey, okay. (laughs) Apparently I did. Turned out pretty good. Well, yeah, yeah, you know, that's why I say I, I, (laughs) all in all, all in all, the universe said, but did you die? And, you know, (laughs) you connected from the other side of it. So Chris, so when you're thinking about the new things that you're, you're in the process of moving into doing and, and navigating and, and journeys and stuff you're going on, right? So if you were still holding it, whether it maybe went down a road too far because there wasn't love for yourself and there wasn't connection for yourself. And that was one of the things that you had. I think that, you know, again, we think of it as either or there's we we set out to enhance our learning, our consciousness, our aperture around different things. Right. You know, so so um, non-judgment. Right. So do you go into a place where there's nothing but non-judgment? No, you go in a place where you get judged the hell out of you from top to bottom morning to night. And and then you, you know, you got, you also, right? So that's part of it. And yep. well, what I was saying, thinking is that, you know, you're not, you're already in the, you're not waiting to, you're in the embarking of your new journey, right? You're, you're embarked on it. You're beginning. You're some of it's etheric, some of it's physical, some of it's all different those kinds of things. Right. But you didn't bring the old that had the connection to those those parts and pieces and hacking and sawing and pills and all that kind of stuff. You brought not only the original Sheila that came into the planet, the fantastic <sighs> little kid, right? But you then hopped. So you met the original, started to figure out all that stuff, you know, taking off some of this, brush this off, you know, clean here, dust that off, get the trash can for that. Absolutely. Right. And then you came into the beginning in connection with the new part. Yeah. Because I you see don't what you're talk saying. about the things you're doing with candies and the, well, you know, I, you know, I had X, it isn't right your storyline of the surgeries and the drugs and the this and the that is is rarely if ever touched upon and it certainly doesn't color how you well that's a talk about timeline jumps right so you jumped onto those timelines hung out there for a while okay so a lot because you like had how many surgeries wasn't just one it was bazillion later right got off that timeline, right? See what I'm saying? So it's connection and how we, how we do that. So another way you could say this is our storyline keeping us stuck to or leaping to our timeline. As, as as author of this here story, I suppose that's all up to me, ain't it? <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> I love that. It's like but right really, now we're all new. Sorry. Go ahead, Lisa. I was just going to say what's really fun is now minding your focus and attention. Because um, in, do, in doing that... I'm having a lot of fun with like what BZ was talking about, what you pay attention to, what I'm paying my focus and attention to is responding to me and I'm seeing it in real time. Um, so I've been doing a lot of staycationing. We'll just call it that. I'm on staycation mode. <laughs> I had hoped to be like roaming smartly about the country in my camper van or in my camper, but no, I'm in staycation mode and I'm starting to like really enjoy it. So when I see the backyard, I'm like, oh, the campground, I love this place. 
Because actually, I, <laughs> I do. <laughs> and it's just been kind of a thrill to enjoy, you know, blooming where I'm planted. And um, so the more I focus on the backyard, the more in tuned, I wanted to say attuned. So, hmm. But the more in tuned I become with the backyard, um, I'm noticing it. Notice me now. See, because see, I spent a long time just noticing the backyard. <laughs> and it's like I'm at a new level experience with the backyard. I now notice the backyard noticing me back. And a couple of times, I have felt this telepathic connection that I love exploring am amongst my friends um, with the backyard. I had not really thought of it before, but before I knew it, I'm playing games with the bunnies and there's a cat who I think might be pregnant um, that comes to visit. And it's like, um, they call me out to the backyard and there they are <laughs> waiting for me. <laughs> it's just been really fun. Um, so I used to catch myself creating catastrophe after catastrophe. And now I'm catching myself having a lot of fun with the backyard. <laughs> so yeah, it's, 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 you know, total empowerment to wield one's currency you know, to command my own focus and attention and then have the experience that I desire. <laughs> it's really exciting, I have to say. <laughs> I got a picture of one of the um, the kitties yes. with, with their paw on your rig on the steering wheel. <laughs> the kitty's thinking, I'm... <laughs> Do what you want with, want with that picture, but that was a very interesting thing. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, I wanted to also uh, uh, pull in Jennifer that when you when you shared that you wanted to to talk on this topic, I was sharing off camera with the ladies here that. Uh, the octopi, it's not that they don't want to come through. Oh, they do still wish to come through. But I, I developed uh, some, some very uh, a sore situation here. I'd never had that before. This is the first time that's ever happened. And so I had to, I just had to take a break. Um, but the the urge to create <laughs> is still there. Oh. So I, I, I spent the day <laughs> creating other items of, you know, just silliness and interesting, you know, well, things, things silly about any of that. things that oh, just, brought, <laughs> things that just brought me joy. Right. So, um, <laughs> Yeah, so I, I, I spent the day still, you know, doing that as I was, you know, um, going through my classes. I, I'm, I'm a multi-functional um, being, apparently. I can, I can go through online classes and create all at the same time. I take in wow. information quite well that way. No, I do too. <clears throat> but so it, it's, it. I was feeling that energetic that you wanted to speak on, on a couple of different levels, which is why I, I, I thought it was very interesting as well, because it's, um, <clears throat> it feels very specific. Yes. I don't, I don't well, and, and the fact that we're calling it creational energy, um, speaks to it specifically in my case, because I totally feel it in my womb. Um, and I totally feel the staycation as um, that moment of relaxing into the unknown. So I'm not quite sure what's about to happen next, but I'm also absolutely positive about what's about to happen next. 
because uh, I'm creating it through my focus and attention. And I'm being very quiet and very aware of not only, you know, I'm, I'm feeling this nesting moment from the, the mother in me that I want to have this safe, um, comfortable area for me to uh, prepare for this new journey that I'm about to embark on because I'm leaving behind a whole life, right? One where I'm just just a single lady, I'm thinking in terms of my pregnancy, you know, next I'm going to enter motherhood, you know, there's, and there's no turning back once we <laughs> walk through that portal, <laughs> you know, and I'm really feeling that I'm taking that kind of ownership with what I'm doing with my creational energy right now. And I'm really sitting with and choosing that which I wish to add to my next experience what I'm giving birth to and honoring that process and myself simultaneously has been a really exciting um, and delicious ride for me because um, I, I'm really savoring, um, bearing witness to my own creational process of, you know, having this desire and then nurturing it and growing it and, you know, not giving up on it and, and then actually giving birth to it and, and setting it free, like allowing it to be separate from myself, which is, which is a whole nother glorious and fun ride. <laughs> you know, all of it is just so exciting for me right now. I'm just enjoying the savoring and the noticing that we were talking about earlier, because there's so much in this moment of now. <laughs> and I'm, I'm feeling called to release, a, you know, all of the old stuff, but I'm not releasing it as it's in, in any sort of anger or um, haste to get rid of it even. <laughs> like I'm just really honoring the, the sacredness of all the roles that, um, that I've played that have been played for me so that I could grow to become this beautiful person that I'm madly in love with now. So I just have this huge gratitude for all that I have experienced up into this moment. And I wanna honor that also in, in some delicious way. And uh, also um, in doing so, I honor the fact that it ends here, never ever to be experienced uh, by me ever again. And by me, I'm talking capital M here, you know, <laughs> about all of me. And so that's something to be savored and celebrated. Well, yeah, I, there's... the picture that I get when you were talking about, you know, that you're the staycation here and, and the yard and all that kind of stuff. You're describing that you're actually are Okay, staycation, that's a, you know, whatever word, I know why you're using it, because you're actually genuinely, but it kept, you know, it's, it was a, it's a way to, you know, right, you, you take people more money away from them, slavery and staycation, it's a thing, right? Yeah. But you're actually describing the campground, like, like, um, if you go up to um, border towns, right, you know, between the United States and Canada, right? As an example. Okay. And, yeah. and there's one part, which is actually, you know, technically the United States, and then there's Canada and actually a town point Roberts where I visited where you go through Canada, you go back into the United States and you, you know, you can't get, you have to go back through that way. But you described it, uh, visualizing for me was a can, the yard is a campground between the old and the new and it's all in the campground and how you walk on different levels because you've been yeah. updating the you've been updating stormy you've been updating the changes different you've been thinking about how new ways you want to get practiced in you know from linear aspects right but into a forward thinking way so yeah. what you described to me is particularly beautiful and a real connection to 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 going in the flow of the creational force rather than the mind tinkering with 
well, I really wanted to do this, but I'm not there or not yet, or I'm waiting, right? You know, so, and, and that's really helpful because you, with your focus and attention, you described how it feels, how you're nurturing that, how you're birthing that. So it's anybody who's ever, you know, been pregnant knows that you're not waiting because you're busy doing a whole <laughs> lot of stuff along the way, like making a whole new being uh, body parts, right? So, but you, but you could have, you could have been playing with the connection and the creational force of, of a different ending on the old as it related to this focus, mm -hmm. right? So, and it's not good or bad. It just is. So I guess one of the things I was not is that a lot of people think of creational force and if they creating something that they love, they may or may not own that they created it, but that's cool. Certainly cooler than something they don't love, but they're, as creator beings, as the truth of who we are, we don't hold it one way or the other. There is no weight or countersink on a, on a good thing or a bad thing. It's energy that has been focused and, and, and shaped and have connecting parts on it for other, you know, co-creation with it. And then we, when we go off and we spin it off well, for, and it's for, only humans that seem to charge that. So if we can, you know, start, stop zapping ourselves, you know, right. And just well, go. Part of that, I think for me, BZ, part of that for me was realizing that my assignment of good or bad is just that. First of all, it's subjective to me and me only. And so, you know, the, the, as, and this is, we all come back quite honestly, it's another one of those things that we were programmed to do. And that is label everything. Everything has to be, have a label. So we understand where we are and what we're working with. That's kind of what, as spatial 3D linear human beings, that's kind of why we got ourselves into all of this in the first place, right? But but, but for me, just realizing, coming to the now, knowing the grokking, if you will, of that fact, that my assignment to a thing, doesn't matter what it is, my assignment to that thing of a good or bad moniker is just that, my assignment. And it may not be the same thing for you or Jennifer, or Lisa, or anybody for that matter. And so the, the, that's why I always say for, for me, the quickest thing all of us could do is get to that. Get, we get to that level of knowing for ourselves. That's very helpful for me. That's been the, the most helpful for me. It does, doesn't mean I always get that now because I'm, I'm, I am all too happy and fast with the assignment of labels. That's a program that we're all, you know, I'm hoping everybody's kind of looking at for themselves. Well, that's like you know? the elephant in the leg for the tail, <laughs> the trunk, right? I mean, you know, that thing where you, we you widen your aperture. You, no, this is a gray thing. It's immovable object and it's kind of wrinkly and hard and what am I going to do with that? Right. And no, right. It it's all crazy. perspective. It, right. Yeah. Yep. I love that. Cause really energy is just energy. Just right. where do you want to put it? What do you want to create with it? Like I, I'm what came with, what came to me when Lisa was describing her staycation and her connection and her interaction with the yard and the beings in the yard, I was thinking, that's where, how do I describe it? So you have this constant current, loving, cushioning, cuddling, creative energy that's just, I don't know, it just softly caresses your skin. It's always there. And you decided, I love this yard. And for different reasons, you end up in this yard and you connect with this yard. And what you're doing for me, the way I felt it and saw it, 
to take in this beautiful, loving, creative. It's really, really, it's a neutral. It's a neutral thing. It's not really loving. It doesn't really caress you, but it can feel that way. <laughs> and you're like commingling it with the material, the, the 3D, um, all the different, like your, all your cells are commingling with all the other cells, so to speak. And you, um, and I don't know, as that connection gets stronger and you put more of your focus and attention, you're, you're directing more energy into your creation. And then you have other beings that are just like, Oh, I love this. I want to play with you. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. something about, um, I don't know, in this existence, at this point in time on this you planet. You just described yourself to Jennifer. Well, isn't understand, that what we all are? Understand that, that, that I just saw, I just saw you describing your own attraction to all j- this conversation even, right? Yeah. Um, the, the, the feeling of, of the, mm, allowing oneself to be immersed in the creational flow of all of that, mm-hmm. right. You called it forth. You called this forth, you know, right. So, and BZ and Lisa both were very, have always been very clear that you know, I, I called them forth. Well, I submit they called me forth too. I mean, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So we, uh, this is, I, I, I love what, what you did there. You pointed out that it is, um, Ooh, one of Lisa's, uh, most, uh, uh, valuable points for me to get the, the, attra- our attraction set point, the frequency set point. What is the frequency set point? Um, that I oh. want to embody today. And you could even also, uh, see it as synchronicity. Like that's a sign you're really in the flow that you've got your, um, your creations chugging along, working with you you get the the people start to show up that you know um they look like your vision (laughs) they sound like your your dream and that's that's what i do i create the relationship that i wish to share with the other inside of me first and that creates that magnetic pull and so synchronicities are when the others that have the same frequency set point Mm-hmm. Um, magnetic pull, however, whatever you want, whatever words you'll use to label that, but you'll come together now because of that shared vision. Um, and it's a cooperative event. So it's a co creative experience. You know, you just helped me see something else, too, actually. What something that I, I think I've needed to see for a while. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, not only that, but it is also possible when, wow, okay, yeah, because this is actually happening to me. Okay, so so you create that that feeling, right? And you create that, oh, crap, no, I, I realize what I've done. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, so you create that feeling, right? And you're pulling it to you, you're magnetically... And then when it shows up, it scares the shit out of you because that's happened to me. I, Mm -hmm. I didn't see it for what I was creating. And until just this moment, now I see what, because sometimes what excited me 10 minutes ago, 10 minutes from now I'm over. So there's that (laughs) and that's okay. (laughs) That's how I roll. (laughs) Happening. <laughs> and sometimes what we wanted 10 minutes ago we've been waiting for and then we don't keep focusing and we kind of get nervous and jerky focus and we leave it's kind of like and we mm-hmm. left the building and they showed up with what we ordered right well, and then that there, happens a lot. you know we're doing that a lot and, and that's where i think that if we put too fine a point on 
the labeling or this is good or this is bad or this is not what I want and this is what I want, right? So if you can go with the feeling of, the energetics of, right? Um, not that it's going to be orange and square with a round thing or this, that, right? right? And how do you feel in that? And And what is... And more to the point, what are the colors that are then coming to you that you can, you know, like oh. with that coming to you, you've, you've actually created this whole play box, this whole paint box, however you want to describe it, <laughs> that's come to you that you've now added and augmented all your creational abilities and tools. Well, let, let, you, let me just let me let me just let me just share some with you because this feels so huge to me in this moment and now okay <laughs> because i just saw a thing y'all i just saw a thing so but also when you oh, when you create this thing this desired experience right and then what you might not expect because again if you've labeled things in a particular sort of way mm -hmm. and you are you know I don't know if you've got some expectations of things going down in a particular sort of kind of way right mm -hmm. and something shows up and it's like well wait a minute you know that's it kind of feels like what I was talking about and it feels like what, what I was desiring that experience, you, but you know what? It was not. And so, you know, then you start questioning and, and things like that, because it's not what you might've expected or, I, you know what I'm saying here? Because yeah, I think but that's, that's okay. So you just create you know, again. I know. I'm mm -hmm. just, I'm just sharing that. I, I was just shown a, a very specific situation for myself. Look at this tiny puppy. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> somebody <laughs> thinks they're still a lap dog. Compared to the other one, the, compared to the giant dinosaur. But, but Keegan's listening to the voices and he says, I, I got to get in this conversation. I don't know what Hi, honey. Is. So sweet. I haven't seen Keegan in a while. Hi, Furbies. Because Mr. Giraffe never lets him get any camera time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I oh, love geez. it. Well, he just took his moment. That was awesome. <laughs> he says, all this creational force stuff, let me up there. I feel a magnetism. Let me in. <laughs> I want to play. Wow. I, I really He's am very crazy. grateful for this entire conversation because... I really did. I, I experienced exactly that. And it hasn't been all that long ago. Uh, you know, uh, an opportunity presented itself. And I, I, I think I, I ran scared um, because it didn't, you know, it was a different expectation than what I, you know, might have thought, you know what I mean? Or, and I didn't see it for what I now see it as having been and 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 it has to do with you know some of that with expectations and labels and and holding things in a certain kind of way when now i'm looking at it i'm like oh wait a minute uh now i see that a little bit differently so and the feeling part as you can now that you've kind of had the light bulb moment and you right because it was the feeling part that i recognize right nothing exactly. else well, but nothing that, else. That, and some of the other things that I didn't recognize were a little, oh, wait a minute. You know, because <laughs> there I get, I assigned a good and bad. You see how this whole conversation has been very helpful to me. Right. So that's the feeling point. So how can, <laughs> how can each being pay more attention to the being? So something presents, something shows up whatever your first thing is to label it good or bad. And it's almost like, you know, close your eyes, close your yourself off for a moment, you know, and just feel. 
So, so is the, um, you know, like if you're hearing something and you think, oh, is that thunder and lightning? Or is that, was that a crash, right? Whatever. Instead of, you know, immediately assigning a label or running to do something, just sit for a minute and feel what it is, just like you'd listen. So feel the energy of what you're listening to, right? Or feel the energy of what you're looking at, right? Mm -hmm. Feel the energy of the connection with it, which all comes from the high heart, not from up here. Because well, that's then, also getting back to presence, isn't it? That's yes, and it's noticing. So, if you notice something, you're simply noticing it. You're meeting it. You're connecting with it. You know, you're not labeling it. You're not even observing it. You're just noticing it, <clears throat> right? And so that changes how it reveal remember look and see right that changes how it will reveal itself to you Boy, and the beauty of true. the creational force right this minute you know why it's so cool that jennifer said you know knocked in everybody's door phone and said hey you know what do you want to play with this because now we're each one is being asked to go through this mastery ship of actually connecting with our own creational force and the wielding of it. And it may be that we're doing it in a way that's, you know, <clears throat> don't like or bad stuff happening or, you know, chaotic or whatever, you know, you're going to, you know, put the air quotes around or joyous or spectacular or half and half. Right. And it isn't, it isn't the mastery does not lie in the ability to clearly describe it. Right. Like, like a, like a, actually a real reporter and report on something, but in or in other words, you're doing it in intuitive storytelling and connection with the meaning you've just met this being this thing whatever it is so what's the what's the intuitive what's your whole telemetry array telling you in that connection because then it may come up looking like it's no nah, i don't want that and you go wait a minute that's interesting i feel this or i notice this, or this well, yeah because one of the things one, one of the things i heard in my head when i was <clears throat> when I was feeling into uh, this situation now that I'm seeing <laughs> for the first time, one of, one of the things that I heard was, well, <laughs> first of all, we're, we're, we're part of what we're doing here is stepping out of an entire old paradigm into mm -hmm. something and now for something completely different, right? It's all new it's so when something new and different shows up you get what what the hell <laughs> you know right. i mean right you know so i i, I gotta I, I i gotta you know not I, mm, jump to that whole uh oh okay yeah what what i'm give to say here is jump to the whole way of judging or discerning that I might have used in the past, because that is, that's part of that whole labeling. And, you know, in order to quickly put something into the proper category, are you somebody I need to be concerned about? Yes or no? Are, are you going to eat me? And do I need to be like, you know, whoop your ass right away? Or, you know, you know what I mean? That's what we did, how we had to survive in the past, right? So, that was part of the whole idea, I think, of that labeling is, you know, how to categorize things very quickly, right, in order to get by in life. Right. As and and now, and now, because that's even if you've been, been flexing your creator being muscles for a while now, every being, wherever they were, However, you know, good they were at it and they had all sorts of super, all that kind of stuff, doesn't matter whether they had none 
thinking they had none, right? And they weren't using them or whatever, or they were, were, you know, pretty good at it. Every being is changing because we're, we're moving through this threshold and into the new. So what used to work before doesn't work the way it used to. And some will work and it may be that, you know, this part used to work really well for one sort of thing. And this part used to work really, really, it may be that they're switched or maybe that you take a little of this and a little of that for this new part. And the way you get to figuring it out is you play with it. You play with the connection. You play with, well, what if I do this? Or what if I feel into for a moment, don't react to anything, just connect. What does it mean when you connect something, right? If you just a, a socket, you know, a, a three prong cord into a thing, you know, when it's connected because it turns you on, right? It, it, it lights something up within you. <laughs> yes, if you connect it to yeah, it, was... it turns on a on a on a computer. Okay, gutter binds, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You can when it and when it isn't, and there seems if to be you knew the situation that I'm speaking on, you might understand. <sighs> All right. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. The, 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 your choice of words were very interesting given the situation that I was shown and my reaction to it. Just very interesting all the way around is all I can say to that. Wow. Okay. No, I love that. I, it's almost like um, we talk about unity, yeah. right? And, and creation and co-creation and connection and focus and attention, right? There is a physical, um, I mean, I don't know how to describe it. There's a physical, there's an emotional. I mean, it's involving all your bodies. All your bodies are involved in this spark. And that spark is exciting. And you could say it turns you on. <laughs> I mean, it, it, um, I don't know. It's that place, that space where you're at. And it just, it does, it feels so delicious and it brings you, it can bring you joy. It can bring you peace. It can bring you, um, harmony with all of you in, in harmony with all of whatever you're creating and whatever physical or energetic matter that's lying around that you're coalescing and creating with. I feel a little excited right now. Not in that way, Sheila. <laughs> yeah, I see we've had to have a change of venue. So <clears throat> Yeah, so I'm in my car in the parking lot. Hi. The lighting's better, I think. <laughs> I, just, I think someone asked a question around this. Well, you know, what you were just talking about, Jennifer, it can, it can bring you heartache. It can bring you frustration. It can bring you all sorts of things it, it, yep. and they can be just as glorious as some of the other, you know, adjectives and feelings and experiences that you're simply because when you truly connected it, you can see, wait a minute, this is the perfect step for me to move through this. I connect with this. I see this and it, it either removes something, you know, shears, shears something off or is a, a a step forward to where I want to go. But because when we don't label it, <clears throat> right, and we experience and connect with it, then we actually have eyes to see. Mm -hmm. We can see into what's really going on for my now we may get to the next step and go, okay, I really see how terrific that was. I'm going to clean up, you know, my creator being this and, and step into things that are not quite so dualistic when I'm learning to take steps and stages mm -hmm. and I'm going to have polarity, but just into pizza pizzas of polarity. And so it's like choosing chocolate or vanilla or this or that, right. You know, right. both good, both fun. This will take, right. And again, that's part of that mastery that we are fully embracing and coming online for ourselves we're mm -hmm. the expert for us and so we're actually getting the opportunity to step up to the plate and be the expert for us yep and have fun yeah. while we're doing it 
if you lose the fun, that's when things seem to shift and can appear out of control or not under your control, if that makes more sense. I don't know. It's hard to, to describe it, but I don't know. That came to mind just now. Playing with it. To me, you know, when I can be, I can be laughing and happy and smiling, or I can be, you know, <laughs> absolutely <laughs> miserable and going, okay. Yeah. This is not working for me and still be playing with it and go, okay, great. So I created this. This is cool. Um, and you know, what is it showing me? What am I feeling? Where is the door opening? Where is what door is closing? Right. So we can mm -hmm. connect and play. Well, I love this. I love this whole conversation. Jennifer, thank you so much for for bringing this forward. Yeah, I'm glad I was able to participate in the play. I'm a little excited and happy <laughs> lately about playing, so. Well, I know, <sighs> too, I know too that because uh, there's been, I, I, you know, you and I had some small conversations about I think that you are also someone that's been having interactions sometimes in the dream time yeah. with not only myself, but Lisa and BZ as well, I believe. Isn't that correct? Yeah. So only, um, I don't recognize all the energies that are there that are present. Um, it's just, um, well, I guess you could just call it a knowing, um, there's, some kind of recognition i couldn't give you a number but it's multiples right. um yeah and there's there's a few specifics that i can currently identify well i love that i love that and i'm i'm i really uh grateful that you're willing to to like i said you know <laughs> come and talk about stuff like that with us because i yeah. i um <clears throat> I, I i get up to a lot of things apparently uh you know yeah I, apparently all i have to do is ping some people and yep. uh and 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 so i think that the more we explore ourselves in those sorts of manners and you know the more we'll find what what it is that we are absolutely not just capable of but are doing all at you know simultaneously concurrently in the moment um doing um i'm 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 more amazed every day at some of the stuff that that seems to be happening so i love it's that, that build up mm -hmm. that build up of creation where we're looking at what we <laughs> want to create we're feeling into what we want to create we're imagining what we want to create we're experiencing um on all levels we're dreaming about what we want to create i mean it's just it's like, like a total infusion of connection and creation i i actually like that a lot i'm gonna have to play with that one a little bit more but an infusion an infusion of creation and connection i think that's exactly what i'm going to name this yeah. oh. conversation <laughs> that we just had here because it's, it's touching everything. It's touching all of your being, all of your bodies. And we're all deciding how we want to um, uh, touch, I, <laughs> touch each other, commingle. Um. Well, interact. Yes, absolutely. Yes, yes. <laughs> on, on, on what varying levels and to what degrees. Oh, I love that. Well, I, I, I love that you guys were all willing to come and play with this. Thank you so very much. Um, are there any closing um, comments that you like, ladies would like to share? Step into your mastery because you're amazing. I love that. All right, then. Well, I will, uh, if you're watching this on Conscious Conversation Central, please do go over to BZ's channel and subscribe if you have not already. And by the same token, if you're watching this over on BZ's channel, come over here to Conscious Conversation Central and subscribe 
both channels. Uh, I, I do have you featured on, on Conscious Conversation Central. So it's easy for anybody just go to the channel, scroll to the bottom and you can click on BZ's channel, go straight there and subscribe. And if you have any questions for Jennifer, if you feel drawn in some way, you can reach her through Conscious Conversation Central at gmail.com. Just put Jennifer in the subject line and I'll make sure that it gets to her. Otherwise, you uh, know the drill. There will be a way to contact BZ in the, in the show more section. And of course, the way to contact Lisa will be there as well. Ladies, I appreciate you all so very much. This was fun. From my heart to yours, I love you all. Mwah. Till next time, choose joy. <laughs> yeah.